we found five future technologies that improve electric vehicle range, and they are coming your way next. For car buyers considering an EV, range is always a nagging problem, but many companies are working to solve this issue, and here's the first innovative technology we found at CES 2023. Okay, I found something that is amazing. I think you guys are really gonna like this. It's by a company called Better Frost Technologies, and they have figured out a way of completely de-icing a vehicle's windshield in one minute at minus 20 degrees Celsius or minus four Fahrenheit. It is absolutely remarkable how this works and it saves a lot of energy as well. So what they do is basically take power from an electric vehicle's battery, they send it through a small control unit like this, that then is plumbed into the vehicle's windshield that has a conductive coating in between the glass layers and they send a high voltage pulse through that layer and it breaks the bond of the ice to the outside of the glass and it all basically sloughs off, completely clears the windshield in about one minute. Way faster, 20 times faster than having a resistive heater blow hot air on the back of the glass. It also uses 20 times less energy. They're saying about 1.8 kilowatt hours of juice opposed to 40 if you had a resistive heater blowing on the glass and that can get you about 20 miles of EV range which is exactly what you want in cold weather. Okay, so unfortunately this next technology is not on display here at CES, but I do think it is still worth mentioning. German supplier company ZF has actually developed, and bear with me now, they've developed a heated seat belt, as crazy as that sounds. So what they've done, they've embedded a conductive material inside the belt itself. It doesn't really change the thickness or the feel of the belt, but it does draw about 70 watts of power and can heat up to between maybe 36 and 40 degrees Celsius to really warm you up on a cold day like a, a nice bear hug. So they can retrofit this to existing vehicles, should be pretty easy to install, and I imagine it's fairly low cost as well. But here's the benefit. When used in conjunction with a heated steering wheel and a heated seat, they are saying they can improve electric vehicle range by up to 15%. That's a big number and I am a little bit doubtful, but anything that can be done to improve electric vehicle range in cold weather is very important in my book. And that improves the range, of course, because you don't have to run the heater as much. Now, heated seat belts are not available at the moment, but I do imagine OEMs are very interested in this technology. So what we have here is AAM's three-in-one electric drive unit, or EDU for short, and what they've done, they've combined the inverter, the motor, and the reduction gearing all into one housing that's smaller, lighter, and up to 10% more efficient, which of course is nothing to sneeze at. So how did they achieve that? Well, they did a number of things. For one, all of the internals are oil cooled. They've got an electric pump to circulate the oil and then they run it through a spin-on filter. I love this feature. If any debris builds up in there, the filter's gonna catch it, improve the longevity of the entire assembly. Additionally, they have a high-speed electric motor. This motor here is a little bit less massive than traditional electric motors, but it spins at up to 24,000 RPM and aside from reducing the mass of the rotor, they have a twin lay shaft design in here which eliminates any loading on the bearings and allows them to spin everything a lot faster. So that's great news. Now, this EDU is not currently in the market, but they're projecting it will arrive in vehicles around about 2024, so it should be coming. They project this would be used in vehicles like a Jaguar I-Pace, maybe a BMW 3 or 5 Series, or perhaps even mid-sized trucks. And of course, a couple different outputs will be offered. They've got one with 100 kilowatts of output. This one should be 200 kilowatts. That's about 268 horsepower. So one way to increase the range of an electric vehicle is to install a more energy dense battery pack and a Dutch company called Leiden Jar has actually come up with a way of making lithium ion batteries that are 70%, 70% more energy dense and that is obviously a huge number and in fact they won, as you can see, 
a CES Innovation Award, so I'm not lying to you, this is very important news what they have developed. So what's the story here? Well, Leiden Jar does not actually make battery cells. What they have developed are new anodes. So this is an ultra-thin anode. It is a copper substrate, very thin sheet of copper that's covered in silicon instead of graphite. Silicon is much better for the environment and it is readily available because it's basically sand. So traditional anodes are about the thickness of a human hair. This one is 10 times thinner, the thickness of a red blood cell. So that allows them to stack many more anodes inside a battery to get that 70% greater energy density. Their batteries also charge extremely quickly. In automotive applications, they're saying they'll be able to hit 60% in just six minutes, which is huge. That's, I mean, you plug in, you've got more than 50% range in less time than it takes to fill a gas car up. Very important. Now, this is not on the roads right now, but understandably, automakers are interested, including BMW, and they expect this technology to hit the roadways probably by the end of the decade. As for cost, once it is scaled up, they project it will be comparable to today's lithium ion batteries or maybe even more affordable. So that is a win-win. All right, so the last item on our list might be a little bit tenuous, perhaps a touch too futuristic, but I gotta tell you, this is super cool, and I really wanted to include it in our video here. So this is the Smart Tire Company. They're actually developing airless tires, airless tires, and they're using basically a design that is inspired by the tires that would have been used on the lunar rover or the Mars rovers. So instead of air in the tires, they're using a special shape memory alloy metal, basically a nickel titanium blend that kind of acts like a spring. It's really cool stuff. So to demonstrate the capability of that shape memory alloy I just mentioned, they have this little demonstration board set up. So you can see we have a very thin piece of wire. It's probably difficult to see on camera. It's attached to a board and a handle. So basically what this allows you to do is set the board on the ground, you stand on the board, you pull the handle, and you can see just how much that wire stretches. It feels like I'm pulling on a, a spring, yet there are no coils in the wire at all. It is perfectly straight. This material has a 6% strain, which means it can elongate by up to 6%, and it will still bounce back. Obviously, the smart tire company wants to break into the automotive, trucking, and aerospace industries. In fact, they aim to have an automotive tire out in the market in about a year or so, but they are not there yet. Currently, they're testing their products on bicycles or other micro-mobility applications. And this bike here is fitted with their tires. And just so you can get an idea of how that shape memory alloy works, it's ar arranged in the tire like this, kind of running around the rim. You might be able to see a little, little bit of it in there, but this is a much better demonstration. This tire right here is actually the equivalent of 100 PSI. And if I press on it, it's really stiff, but it will yield under pressure, as you can see right there. So how are these tires more efficient? Well, I've been told they have fewer hysteretic losses and less rolling resistance, which is key to improving vehicle efficiency, whether you drive a truck or an electric car. And that's just a tiny sample of what we saw here at CES. For more future tech, click right over here to watch the discussion I had with Misco Electric, where we talk about some of the future technologies we are most excited about.